Hello, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Tonight we're working on Module 3, Lesson 35, and we're going to be multiplying two-digit multiples of 10 by other two-digit numbers, and we're going to be using the area model to solve those problems. So let's take a look at a couple of problems tonight. Let's take a look at problem number 3, where we're going to be multiplying 50 times 38. 50 times 38. So one of the things we can do, a great thing that we can do with the area model is that we can break down these numbers into numbers that work better for us. And I'm going to give us a little bit more space here so that we're able to uh, see what we're doing. We're able to break down 38 into its pieces. So that's 3 tens, 30, and 8 ones. And then the 50 is just on the side. So when we multiply in the area model, this is going to be pretty easy. We're going to have 50 times 30. Another way of saying that is that we have 5 tens times 3 tens. And hey, when we multiply 5 tens times 3 tens, we know we're going to get 15 of something, right? And then we have to decide, oh, tens times 10. So 10 times 10 is 100. So I think we're going to end up with 15 hundreds. Or 1,500. Sorry, my comma's not very good there. So on the right-hand side, we are multiplying 50 times 8. So again, let's just go ahead and say what we're doing there. We're doing 50 times 8. Sorry, my multiplication again is a little off. That's the same as 5 tens times 8. And so that's going to be 40 tens. 40 tens is the same as 400. Awesome. So if we look at that in our vertical method, we see a very similar thing, right? We see that we are multiplying 50 times 8, which is we can think of as here, 50 times 8. 50 times 8 is we decided it's going to be 400. And the other thing we're going to do is we're going to do 50 times 30. That's 50 times 3 tens. And that was going to be well, 1,500, right? So we've got 1,500. And if we add those two partial products together, we have 0 1s, 0 10s, 9 hundreds, and 1,000. And that tells us that the answer to 50 times 38 is 1,900. Let me again get my comma in there just for completion's sake. Excellent. So that shows us how that we can use the area model to make a more complicated problem like this into two somewhat simpler problems, 50 times 30 and 50 times 8. And the vertical way shows that we can do those same partial products in the vertical method that we did with partial products, right? 50 times 8 is 400. 50 times 30 is 1,500. We can add those partial products together. Awesome. Let's take a look at a couple of problems. Let's take a look at, oops, problem number 4. We are going to draw an area model to represent the following expressions and then record the partial products vertically and solve. So we're going to really do the same kind of problem that we did the last time, except that they haven't given us any extra support. They haven't given us the vertical method on the side. Well, I'm confident that we can do this, right? We did partial products. We took our rectangle and we broke down 6D on the side. And on the, on the top, we decided we were going to break this down into 10 and 9. And that means that in between here, we've got 60 times 10. So let me go ahead and expand this out a little bit so we've got a little bit more room to work. 60 times 10, or 6 tens, boy, times 110. That's 6 times 100, or 600. And over here, we've got 6, 60 times 9, which is 6 tens. I don't have enough space, do I? times 9, which is 54 tens, or 540. And if we did that on the partial product side, right, if we did the same kind of a problem, right, if we did 19 times 60, if we multiply by that, we would be doing sort of the same thing, right, which is 60 times 9. Oh, we figured that out already. That's 540. And then we would be doing 60 times 10, and that's 600. Okay. And we'd be adding our partial products together to get that. And over here we would do the same thing. 600 plus 540 equals 1,140. So we're able to do that same area model. We were able to create it ourselves this time, right? 60 times 10, 60 times 9, figure out our partial products. And we can do that whether we use the area model or a vertical method. Answers will be the same. Awesome. 
Well, I think that's enough for today. You should be able to do the other problems in the set. The other problems in the set say that you should visualize the area model. In other words, just in your head, think about the way that you're multiplying 60 times 19 as a breakdown of 60 times 10 and 60 times 9, but just move straight to the actual uh, vertical method to solve those problems. So I think that should be enough to get you going. I hope it is, and we'll see you again next time on Mr. Kung Has Problems.